hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we will see that how to sort a linked list so to sort a linked list we will apply the logic of merge sort so merge sort uh, what it means it means that let's say we have the five element so first we'll pick up the middle element and then recursively recursively will uh, do the same process until we find the null element and as soon as we find the null element we'll merge that two elements right so uh, while merging the while merging the element we'll check that if element is lesser than the other one then put that then put this into an a, a another uh, another element or another link and then put the second one again check the recursively right so let's say for this link list these are five elements so first we will take the middle element so 37 is the middle element so we'll put this element this as a one link list and this is a another link list now so this is our this is our new link list now again we'll take a middle link so this is a middle so now again our link list will be this one and the this one right so now in this link list we'll again check what is the middle element so this is a middle element and for this link list this is a middle element right so now at the last we have two nodes this one nodes and this one nodes so we'll check that whether 12 is less than 99 yes they are so now put 12 now uh, now uh, put 99 into new link list so now we have sorted this link list 12 and 99 now because 37 was only the one node in this link list so this is another link list so now we have this one link list and this link list because recursively we are doing this okay so first we break then we are merging the link list okay so now we'll check that whether 12 uh, is less than 37 yes it is so we'll put 12 in the uh, in the new link list now we'll check that whether 37 is less than 99 or 99 is less than 37 so now 37 is less than 99 so we'll put 37 here and we'll put next of this 12 to the 37 and then 99 will come after the 37 okay so now we have uh, now we have sorted this link list and then we, and now we'll do again again with the same link list so with this link list because 8 and 18 are already sorted so that's it so now we have to merge this link list and then 8 and 18 so again we'll check we'll merge with 12 to 8 then we'll uh, check with uh, because 8 is less than 12 then 8 will first come then 12 will first come then 99 will check with 18 so 18 will come first after that then 37 because we have already sorted this so then 37 will come first and then 99 will be there okay so this will be our logic and we will see from the code so let's see it from the code we have so let's say if we have only one node so when we have only one node then there is no point of sorting this so this is our merge sort so let's debug this point and we have written the function like this okay so what we are doing basically we are checking that if node equals to null and if node dot next equals to null it means it has if this is a case it means link list is null and if this is a case it means it has only one node so in the both the cases we are returning the node right because we will not uh, sort because it has only one node so there is no point of sorting now we are checking that get the middle node so for uh, getting the middle node we have written a function so like in my previous tutorials uh, in my one of the tutorial i have covered the getting the middle node but still uh, i will be doing it so to get the middle node we'll we take the two nodes and we jump first node by one node and second node by uh, two nodes right so when we reach at the the last node a will or the first node will always be my middle node so if you want to see more about this uh, getting the middle node you can uh, see my previous uh, videos okay so middle will give me the middle node now second half so second half will always be my the next of middle node right and then we'll put middle dot next equal to null okay so now we have two link list now i will do merge of this first link list and the second list list right and this is a recursive function 
okay so what it means that let's say we have the uh, we have the five element so in this it will be first three element and this will have the two element so again it will go here now again it will check the middle element and again it will check the second up so recursively it will do until it has the one one node right so after that after that we are merging it so how we are merging it we are taking a temporary node temp and then we are taking a final list which is also the uh, which will return at the end so we are checking until a and b both are null so we are checking if a dot if the a dot value is less than the b dot value then uh, then temp dot next equals to a it means store the a to the next of temp and uh, and jump the a by one node and if it is greater than this then do with this second so put the temp of next equals to b and uh, jump b by one position and at the end also also jump temp equals to temp dot next right so at the end let's say if one list finishes first then just put the another list to, uh, to the temp dot next right so we are checking if temp dot next equals to if a equals to null then put b if it is not null then put a right and at the final written final list dot next so by this we are retaining the sorted list so now we'll see using the example so let's say we have only the one node it means there is no need to sort but still we'll see so let's debug it and it will go here it will check that if no that node dot next equal to null and it will return the function right so sorted list if you print this so it will return nothing right because it is the same so now let's say if we have the two link list or two nodes in the link list um, and let's say let's put it as a small element okay now debug it go here it will check that this condition doesn't fulfill so it will come here now it will get the middle node so it will check it will see that first is because there are two element so first node will always be uh, will say that middle element and this is second half because second half will be the middle node next and will put middle dot next equal to null so now we'll see that what is node node is 12 and second half is 9 right second half is 9 so now we'll put it into the merge function so let's go here again it will check that whether if it is node null then it will return and again it will return right so now we'll uh, create a new node which is with the temp so temp will point to the zero and null okay we have written this function so you can see earlier but if you want to see it then you can go here and so this is our class so we have created a node like this okay so now uh, again this final list will again take a temporary point so now it will check it will loop until while uh, a is not null and b is not null so it will go inside and now it now b is less than a right so now it will point temp dot next equals to b and it will uh, b will ag again jump to b dot next now temp will again uh, point to the next now b is null so it won't go into this now it will check that a is equals to null so like in this case b is null right so temp dot next will be a and if you see the final list so final list has become 9 and then 12 right so if we if we return the final dot next it means that will be our sorted list right so just return this so now if you will see this if you will print this one so you can see that let me show you the function yeah so this is earlier list was 12 and 9 and the sorted list is 9 and 12 right so let's see if we have the three functions if we have the three nodes in our link list right so go to the just debug it okay now go to the function and now it will check here it will give you the middle node so middle node will be the uh, 9 okay 9 37 right and now second half this will be second half and this is a right okay so now let's see what is the node here right so node is 12 and this is 9 and what is second half second half is 37 so earlier we had uh, we have three nodes so we have broke this into two linked list 12 and 9 and 37 
now again again it it will call the this this node which is which has a two node right so again it will go here it will again it will find the middle node and do this right so if you see here we have broken 12 and second half is 9 right so again it will check that it will not is none then return and again this return so this is the same thing this is the same thing of doing that we have only two nodes and then we are merging this right one node we have 12 and another node we have 9 so now we'll pass into the function so okay i have done the f6 right so it will it has given me the so now again go here so now we have 37 in this right so it will return me this one now what a have so now a has a has 9 and 12 because i have already sorted this and what is b have now b is 37 right so now we are merging because first we have sorted the uh, the first link list which was till middle node and secondly we have sorted the another link list now we are merging both the link list right so this is the same thing now again it will check that a is uh, because a is the first link list which has the two nodes and b has only single node so it will check that whether a dot i is less than b then yes because 9 is less than uh, what is b 37 yes so again it will go here again uh, because 12 is less than so again it will go here and now because a is null now so temp dot next will simply be the b which is 37 so it will point here and it will return with the final list right so if you see this so you can see here that it was 12 9 and 37 and it has sorted this 9 12 37 so the same logic will applicable to the other nodes so let's say if we have the uh, four link list four nodes in the this and if you run the program so you can see it was 12 9 37 7 and then it was sorted to 7 9 12 40, 37 so it will do the same thing first it will break this into two link list this one this one again this will break into link link list this one 12 and 9 then it will merge 9 and 12 into 9 and 12 then it will do again uh, the same operation into this one and once it has got the 912 and 737 then it will merge the two link list into the final one this right so that is how we can sort a link list so we have applied the merge sort because this is the most efficient algorithm to sort the link list and it gives the least complexity other algorithms gives the like brute force gives the n square but in this we can sort using n log n right so that's it for this video and thanks friends for watching the video and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you